Hey y'all, so it's me Alexandria and today I am back with a new video. Today I am back with one of my favorite videos which of course is a shoe haul. If you see my last shoe haul, you already know I have a little obsession with shoes because I do work with shoes. I have about eight shoes, they're all right next to me, I have about eight shoes. They're all from the same place, they're all from Lord & Taylor. Like I said, if you see my last video, you know I work at Lord & Taylor in shoes, so... <laughs> That's where I get all my shoes from now, to be honest. That's that's really where I get all my shoes from. So the first pair of shoes I have here was one of the first ones I bought this summer. And one of my favorites. I've actually worn these so many times. These are the Sam Edelman um, Rockwell flats in the color Cranberry Velvet. Um, these basically, I love these. These remind me of... Fiona from Shrek like the shoe she wore like if this was green I'm pretty sure this is the identical shoe that she wore so basically it has this kind of lace up thing going on here and it has a string that it laces up all the way it laces up about halfway up my calves it is like a velvet um, material and, and it's the color cream I love these I don't know I, these are just these are the shoes I've been wearing to work mostly all since summer has started. Since I've gotten them, I've worn them so many times. I really, really do like these. The next pair of shoes I have here are a pair of Steve Madden. Um, these are actually the first pair of Steve Madden shoes I've ever bought. And I love Steve Madden handbags, but I've actually just never bought their shoes. So this is the first pair of Steve Madden's I bought. And these... Guys, these are so gorgeous. I saw them. They were actually on clearance. I opened the box and I saw them and I just like I just knew at that moment that I had to have them. These are the Steve Madden Sweetest in Rose Gold. I actually might wear these this weekend. Um, these, I'm so excited. These, they're such a fancy shoe and I actually don't have a shoe like this. So I'm like super excited to add this to my shoe collection. This is, uh, I love this shoe. The next pair of shoes I actually have is a pair of Pumas. These actually got on a really good deal, guys. I actually got these at Lord & Taylor for $20. Actually, it was like $19.50, I think, to be exact. These are a pair of Pumas. I opened the box and I was like, oh my gosh, these are so like different. Like, I, it's a typical Puma, but it's the um, pattern on the actual shoe that's actually, I've never seen something like this before. These are the Puma Basket Denim denims in a lavender luster these when i put these on my feet they just look like they belong on my feet so that's how i knew i had to get them and they were 20 bucks so i was like duh i just like how like classic they look on me and i know this is a shoe that i'll be wearing a lot and i just really like how it looks the next pair of shoes i got if you follow me on snapchat you already saw these shoes um i love these shoes and i actually also got this for a really really good deal i got these for 17 dollars i'm telling you lord and taylor has some really good secret deals because they don't be telling anybody about the deals but us as employees we know all the deals so these are the adidas swift runs in the color silver basically they're silver gray gray silver I don't know. It was only this color that was on sale. The other colors weren't on sale. They do have some other colors that are gorgeous, but I just wasn't really ready to pay full price for them. I, I have been eyeing this ever since I started working at Lord's Hale. Like, this is one of the first shoes I saw when I was, you know, went around to look and see what we had. I was like, oh, these are gorgeous. But I was, like I said, I wasn't really about to pay the full price. I think, I think which is $85 for full price. I just don't pay full price for shoes. Everything I get, I always get on sale. Like, I always get on sale. I rarely ever buy a shoe full price unless I really need it for something. So I was like, I'm just going to wait for them to go on sale. And one day, they did. it was like a one-day sale type thing. And these went on sale for $17. And I don't think anybody really knew about them. But us as, our co as, us as employees, we was, we was looking. Okay, and these, these actually went really, really big if you want to get them. I actually typically wear um, a 9 in Adidas. And I had to get these in an 8.5. The next pair of shoes, if you follow me on Snap, you also already saw this. A lot of the times I put some shoes that I'm really obsessed with on Snap. So if you want to follow me on Snapchat, I'll have it in this video. This is a, oh my gosh, these are gorgeous. I saw these again. These were on sale and I bought them and I was just like, these are, I wore them the same day I bought them. Actually, no, I wore them the next day that I bought them. Um, these are by the brand Caparos, which I'm not really that familiar with. Um, they are called the Jovial and they're in the black velvet. These 
are gorgeous. These are so gorgeous. But they are a little tight. I wear a size 10 and these are a size 10 and they do still feel fit tight and they kind of hurt, but it's okay because heels were not made to be comfortable. Okay, so that was all for like regular shoes and sneakers. Now we're gonna move into some boots and some out of season stuff. The first thing I got was actually a pair of Uggs and let me tell you guys. Okay, so like I said, Lauren Taylor has some really, really good deals, but this is probably the best deal I've ever seen. These were a pair of Uggs and they were $34, like, 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 they were $34, okay, um, they were of course on sale, they were not originally $34, but, um, when you buy stuff out of season, they go on a really good deal at Lord & Taylor, and so I got these pair of chestnut, um, these are not the typical Bailey buttons, these are the Keely shoes the button is a little different than the regular average circle bailey button but i saw these of course we sell them for 34 dollars. we only had this size left so I, gra I grabbed it without really thinking i grabbed it and bought them and i'm so excited to wear them because i just they're so nice they're so nice the next pair of shoes i got was a pair of hunters i just love the packaging of hunters they are just so nice and sleek i just love the effort they put into the packaging so these hunters i actually also got a really 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 good deal you guys know how expensive hunters are and but i do think they are worth every penny even if you were to pay full price for them they are worth it they will last you forever and they are just so cute and just nice um i got these hunters for 42 dollars okay 42 dollars let me show you what they look like these are what the hunter boots look like i already have a pair if you've seen my last shoe haul from like last summer around this time i had gotten a pair of black hunters and i loved them i wore i don't want to tell you how many times i wore them this year this past year um so i knew i was like i definitely need another pair and these hunters, these are the original refined gloss hunters in the color dulce I, when I buy hunters, I only like to buy the refined version. The refined version is a little bit of a sleeker shoe. Um, if you buy the original, the just typical original hunters, they are a little bit more bulkier and they're a lot more wider. And I don't like, that's one of the things I hate about rain boots. I hate wide rain boots. And the re refined version is a lot sleeker. It looks like your traditional boot. It hugs your calves. If, if you have wide calves, then I don't recommend them. But if you have your typical uh, calves, if, you're, if they're not wide, then the refined version will actually look a lot better and a lot sleeker and as you see they don't have the extra like material that they usually put at the toe it's a lot just sleeker and the calf is a lot tighter around your calf so if you have that issue get the refined i'm telling you it makes the world of a difference of how it looks on you and so i really like this color i really wanted the light blue color but this one fit a lot better um and they just look so nice. I'm so excited. And for $42, I, it was a steal. Come on. The last pair of boots I got, I didn't get on any crazy deal or anything like that. But these are the Calvin Klein boots. Um, I need more tall boots for the fall. And I saw these. And um, back at the Lord of Taylor that I work at in New York, we didn't have these in my size. So when I came down to Maryland and worked at this one, I saw that we had them in my size. So I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get them. Um, because they're just so cute. These are the Calvin Klein Priya's in the color Kid Suede slash Neoprene. I love these. I mean, I just think they just look so nice on me. And they are, they they touch, the front part touches the top of, the bottom of my knee. So it goes right up to my knee. And this kind of back part is made out of, I don't know what you call this material. But I think these are just so, so cute. And I'm so ready for fall just so that I can wear them. I love them so, so much. I also bought a pair of Michael Kors slides, but they didn't fit. I wanted them to fit. I tried to make them work, but I had to come. I had to be honest with myself. They, my foot was kind of hanging out in the back, so I ended up giving them to my mom. I still inserted a clip of how I look in them, but I did buy them. But I gave them to my mom because she wears a size smaller than me, and they look they would fit her better. And I didn't want to look crazy wearing slides that were a little too small. But I ended up getting those Michael Kors slides literally for $12. That was the reason why I was like, I'm gonna make it work. I usually wear a size 10 in regular shoes, but those Michael Kors were size nine and I thought I could make it work for $12 and I just got it, okay? So I had to give those to my mom. So, um, but like I said, I am insert a clip of me wearing them. I love them so much. I'm gonna see if I can try to find them in my size. Um, I was trying to see it on the internet if I could try to find it, but of course they were full price and I wasn't trying to pay full price for them because um, we had it for $12. So that is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. 
I think that's all the shoe hauls I'm gonna do for the summer. I, I hope I don't buy any more shoes. I think the only shoes I'm left to buy is I do want a pair of black slides to replace those Michael Kors ones that I was gonna get for myself. Um, but that's probably the only shoes I'm gonna buy the rest of the summer. I'm really trying not to spend any more money on shoes, but it's really hard when you work around shoes every, every single day. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed that shoe haul. Comment down below which one was your favorite, um, shoe, or even which one was your least favorite. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed that video, and I will see you guys in my next.